Hi. Hi. I'm sitting with Zell. Oh. Oh, we're taking care of business. Money never sleeps. Well, it's also only 7.30. Oh, true that. True that. True that. So, I mean, money does sleep for people who don't have anything going on. People who take naps and shit. So, you're saying that naps are completely... What if you need to get your energy levels up to, to make more money? It depends. I think people who, like, I take 15-minute naps. You take 15-minute naps? Yeah, I, like, I bolt awake after, like, 15 minutes. I can't help it. Really? Yeah. Like, so, doing a full sleep cycle in the, in the course of, like, the middle of the day is fucking crazy. I mean, that's, there's no reason to fucking do that. You're a grown man. You're not a baby. Babies take naps. Even a baby. I mean, children need naps, dude. I don't. <laughs> Did you not fucking take naps as a kid? Put, put, put my kid in a fucking Clockwork Orange-esque situation. And just like eyes open. What are you going to make him watch? Like uh, the trading shit, like the, the candles and wicks and shit. I'm going to make him watch the Rizzler videos nonstop. That's good. That's good content. He's got me like brainwashed on like the Rizzler content. It's like actually kind of fucked up. I used to be like, don't stop. Stop sending me Costco universe shit. Please stop this. And now I'm like, I'm like, that's that's crazy that they're doing X, Y, Z thing. I find myself commenting on it. That's crazy. I, I told you this the other day that um, I'm already past it. You're past it. I'm in a post Costco guys world. Rizzler is, is coming up crazy. He's becoming a superstar. He's going to overdose by the time he's 15. Why the fuck do you think that? Well, first of all, he's fat. Fat people have no self-control. Okay. So once he starts, once he gets on the, he's gonna start smoking pot. He's gonna have a couple beers. He's gonna start smoking pot. Next thing you know, Fetty. That quick. I mean, it's gonna be like you know. I'm just saying. Next thing you know. Next thing you know. He also lives in like New Jersey. You know, all those kids are probably bad. How you the know? fuck do you know? How do you know where he lives? Are, are you not a Costco guys fan? I mean, I fuck with the Rizzler. I just assumed that they live in New Jersey. I thought there was they got New Jersey. Guys. Th- did I we mean, did we do an intro? Oh, we didn't do an intro. We didn't do an intro. Sorry, guys. You know, um, I mean, we don't have to do intros oh anymore. Th- th- these are bad. I'm blurring this out, by the way. No, Y'all are not leave getting- it in. Really, Poppy, this shit sucks. <laughs> They're not good. This is gross. It's really not I'm good. I'm just very thirsty, and they didn't give me a water this time. It's it's not it's not delicious. I put I put some probiotic or prebiotic juices in there for the team. So that they, uh, their tummies are feeling good. Me, though? I would have liked one of those. I'll make sure that I'll put it on your rider. How's that sound? It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> um, Nasty Work Podcast, episode... It's 10. 10. 10. The big one oh. Jeez, 10. Wow. By age 10, you should stop taking naps. Really? That's a fucking hot take. Is it? Yeah, just because what if you're just tired? Like, you're just supposed to just go continue on? Yeah. What if you got nothing going on that day? Kill yourself. Oh, wow. Um, I got something going on every day of my life. Every it's moment? bag chasing. Nathaniel. <laughs> All right. Um, your host. Luke Frazier. Nate Russell. You're really the host again, because I don't know any of these questions or any of this shit. Like, I'm here. I'm here just to fucking facilitate my man, Nate. And we're also, we got a new couch, as you guys can see. Nate got a cut couch. I got a I got a fucking casting couch, as y'all can see. It's good <laughs> shit. It's Nate, good Nate shit. got a couch from when the bowl comes over. <laughs> but yes, we do have fucking questions. We have plenty of questions. Shout out to everybody that fucking sent us questions. Some real geeked up fucking questions. Keep sending them in. Y'all are fucking weird. I love it. We can just start with the questions if you wanted to start. You don't have anything else to talk about? I mean, there's there's so much to talk about, but we got, honestly, not, like a lot of questions. You're not over your time? Well, we're not going to do all of them. I mean, of course not, but some of them are, I want to get I want to get to some of the sure. questions. Go ahead, ask away. Or, I mean, unless you want to talk about the Rizzler more, I could talk about him for hours. He's definitely from Jersey. I, I feel like he gives Long Island. No. No. No, don't, don't I wouldn't besmirch strong island like that i'm not besmirch i'm not besmirching it i'm just it was just like a guess what does he get what about him gives long island i feel like long island is one of the least obese places in the country why is that just just the vibes you know i'm from long island so i can speak on this the further out east you go the skinnier people get (laughs) where i live in the middle it's it's a no man's land a lot of costco's and those types of see a lot of Costco's, kind of a lot of Costco's. Well, you know, also, I think we could easily point to 
a lot of government statistics that show that, you know, people of color are obese at higher levels because they're exposed to worse food. And, you know, you come from a part of Long Island that's not full of white people, right? Also, I'm not counting Italian people as white. We talked about this last episode. Not what's interesting is a lot. There's a big Italian community where I live, but there's also a lot of uh, yeah. I mean, it's kind of are they all criminals? No, they have like you know. (laughs) What the? the No, they're not. What in the fuck? Okay, that's crazy. (laughs) Just a question. Uh, I mean, all right, sure. Okay. Um, honestly, I like Long Island a lot. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie. I like it out there a lot. It's nice. Keep it a bean. It's nice. Never been. Never been. It's nice out there. I like Long Island in, in, in theory. I don't know how I'd care for it in practice. I mean, from town to town, it varies so fucking much. It, like, really is different from place to place by a huge margin. So it just depends on where you would go. Long Island City? I've been there. Well, I mean, that's not really... I wouldn't really count. I mean, it's on Long Island. I mean, it is on Long Island, but, I mean, then you could just say that you've been there a million times because Brooklyn is Long Island. I've been to, I've been to Long Island, then, yeah. But you haven't been, like... You haven't been to, like, Mineola. Oyster Bay or some shit like that. I've been to Hempstead. Have you really? No. Exactly. I have not. I've been to Levittown. The fuck is that? It's where the first suburb in the state, like the suburbs as we know it started. Really? Yeah. I studied urban planning in college. Ah, ah, ah. Well, let's get, let's, let's move away from Long Island. Let's get into some fucking questions. All right. Sure. Hope they're good. Uh, there's something. Questions at Luke's.store if anybody wants to fucking submit more. This is the first one that we got. Greetings, boys. I have a question about the minimum bleeding edge of inseam for shorts. Mainly a Luke question, but I have to know the smallest shorts that are acceptable. It would be interesting to see Speedos becoming the standard for short shorts, perhaps with a T tucked in and socks pulled high. I for Okay, for, let's, let's start with one thing. I don't like when people make a statement and try to frame it as a question that second part of that question shouldn't have been in the question yeah that was it i'm was, not into that there was all. no there was no question mark but it was a question you inflected like as if it was i mean it's it sounded better like that you know what i mean yeah i don't like when people do that i'm gonna i'm gonna start with that <laughs> just as a statement just a statement a fucking speedo put into the shorts come I, on I like, let's be Dim, real i think dimna did that in like a couple of seasons ago on the runway bleeding edge what do you what do you think like what is what the, the fuck does bleeding edge so mean? the absolute like highest the shorts can be. I thought he was asking like a rag question. No, it has nothing to do with a rag. Um, I tell crass you about, as shit. I'm, I'm about to, I told you that I want to do. I have two ideas for an app. Uh, what? Menst- a menstruation tracking app. One of them was Rag Trap Tracker, and the other one was R G G R Ragger. Ragger. First of all, Rag Tracker already exists. Is That's it called Rag Tracker? No, it's not fucking called Rag Tracker. That's the dumbest shit ever. That no. is such a good name. <laughs> it's so bad because no women refer to it as a rag. Uh, uh, Aurora does. All right, well, but it's because I've been hammering on it for ten years. Yeah, dude. She, I'm sure she's also picked up a lot of other bad colloquialisms <laughs> from you <laughs> as well. So, all right, sorry. Would, uh, uh, short shorts. First. Yes, short shorts. Let's get back on topic here. I think kind of as short as possible, as long as you're not. Like exposing yourself to a possible sex offense. Yes, that's that's fair. As with any any time people ask me about clothes, the only acceptable answer is like whatever you're comfortable in, because no one actually looks good in anything. It's just what are you comfortable in? You know, like when you're uncomfortable in stuff, you look bad. When you're comfortable in it, you look good. And if you're ugly, you're ugly. Sorry. That's fair. I would go honestly with mid thigh, probably about here, here, like right in this region. That's about. Aesthetically, that's as far as my short shorts have ever gone. Well, that's why he asked me. Well, I mean, he said mainly for Luke, okay. but you know, I you know, for the I think for the average person, that's probably fine. Like kind of where my shorts are. I think that, but, but anything beyond that, your junk is going to be hanging out, and you might as well be wearing. Well, if a you get like now. the nice Calvin boxer briefs, they kind of hold it in. You know, ooh, a little bit of a boxer brief hanging that's out the, of the that's bottom. That's the, of the other thing. The no, shorts. that's the other thing. Is like you, I I have to buy my boxer briefs like length based on my shorts. Like I have, I have polo box right now that i can't wear with my shorts because they're longer than my shorts oh you don't want to i have to buy the like i have to buy the like super short polo like the super short calvin boxer briefs they have like a special one so you're like you're almost like regular briefs almost in these it's like regular briefs like a little with like a little like a little just a little bit of leg just okay all right i mean that's personally i think briefs are so gross i've never worn briefs my entire life 
I did when I was like a child. My parents didn't fucking get them for me. They just got me boxers. Yeah. Well. Oh. Off rip. They were like, nah, we're not we're not doing it to young one. I, I wore briefs when I was a child. All right. But I they didn't pick them out. I mean I picked out like that I liked Power Rangers and they had Power Rangers on them and shit. Like, oh yeah, but say less. <laughs> I got the Rangers up on them. You know I, I mean? distinctly remember being for some reason like four or five and I was really sick and I remember I had Power Rangers boxers. <laughs> I remember pooping in them. <laughs> It's like a very vivid memory I had. It was gross. That's pretty gross, dude. <laughs> That's pretty gross. I love how you overshare. As soon as you get the, the camera turns on and you start overshare, I've never heard this story. I've been friends with this guy for like 15 years. Never, never heard that fucking up. story. Oh yeah. I also, guess. I'm just I'm, I got a lot of anxiety in front of the camera, so I'm just trying to cope with it. Uh, that's fair. You got another question? All right. Next question. What was the first Grail you got? Are you, f- are you fucking serious, dude? Yeah. I knew this was going to be... This is quite a question. Because I don't think y'all are going to... Y'all are not going to like the answer that we fucking have for this. And off rip, I'm just going to tell you, and I feel like Luke will agree, I've never looked at any object and thought to myself, hmm, I cannot attain it. It's never been a grail situation. Maybe uh, maybe like a fucking expensive piece of art or something? Like a Basquiat? Like, hmm, I would like to have that. But I don't covet fucking items like... Like, they're idols or something. That's weird. That's a bad part of fucking sneaker culture that, I don't know, I just never agreed with. It's I have some words that I will not say on the podcast for it. If you're using the term grail in 2024, you need to go get some bitches, bro. Real fucking talk, dog. Like, you're smoked, dude. That, be- <laughs> that being said, you know, I hope that everyone who watches this can shed the shackles of consumerism. And attain true inner peace and nirvana. Um, when we first started round two, I bought some eighty, uh, some O one Royals that were um, expensive. To answer the question, but you've never, you've never seen a pair of shoes or like a piece of clothing and been like, oh my god, one day, one day, I hope, I wish upon I mean, I a star did when that I was it will like come to me. Fourteen, but like I was broke, you know. Like anyone, who, if you have money, just go buy it or don't. You real, know? Like, real fucking talk. Like, like I said, like you don't. I've never looked at an object and been like, I can never get it unless it's like an in- insanely expensive I, car no, or I something. Th- I, like, I, 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 I'm, I'm gonna have to push back on that because some shit is like with sneakers. Maybe something was too old, like a pair of old Air Maxes that you couldn't wear because it was gonna crumble. Um, with tees, vintage tees, sometimes it's very hard to find specific stuff. So I'll push back. I'll push back at that because I think access is the reason that people would say that, not cost potentially. Um, but again, yeah. Still, it's still the same thing. It's just like I if don't it, know. It's like if it comes, it comes. If it doesn't come, it's like I'm not gonna fucking lose sleep over it. Like yeah, I've never been that like pressed about something. You know, like. Yeah, you know, maybe when I'm like a little more manic, I am. But like, I think generally, like, not really. I've been a lot more leveled out since I stopped doing blow a lot. Doug, the only time I've ever seen you manic about wanting to buy something is when you when you bought your house. But that's a real fucking purchase. That's not like a that wasn't like a little. Ooh, let me wait in line and get sneakers. I, I was like, I've, I need to get this house I've as quickly as I can. I've spent like four thousand dollars at the Balenciaga boutique before. On what? Was it your grail? It was the grail that I wanted at that time, which was I probably found out about two days before, yeah. One more question. Three questions is enough. Okay, next question. Thoughts on Atlanta? Big fan of what y'all got going on. Thank you. Thank you. You should be a fan. Um, Luke, I'm going to let Luke uh, open up the floor with this one. (laughs) Thoughts on Atlanta? I'm going to premise by saying I've never been. Um, I think Atlanta is culturally the capital of the South. Um, and you know, I know a lot of amazing people from Atlanta and I've listened to a lot of amazing music from Atlanta and I think it's put a lot of things into the cultural zeitgeist over the past 20 years that have really, you know, shaped how I view the world and, um, lemon pepper is gross. That is what I got. The wing, the wing seasoning? Wing flavor is gross. Yeah. Lemon pepper is gross. Hmm. Lemon flavored stuff is gross. I'm drinking a lemon lime soda. It's gross. I mean, I'm going to have to have to just echo what he said. I mean, I've never been there either, so I can't really speak on it. But fire music, cool people. I'm not I'm not getting going to say anything disparaging about us, us, any city. I saw I've seen people tr- who are from Atlanta try to disparage other cities and they it didn't go so good for them. So, I mean, how uh, the the thing is, is like, how can you just hate like an entire 
city. It's never like the entire city is like not hateable. It's just maybe per, like particular people that you know in the city that you don't like or just I mean, how do you it's just a place. Um people be like, "Oh, they like shit on like XYZ place like because of yeah, ABC honestly, thing. It's like, what the bill, fuck are you, you know, saying? Like, there are very few places that I've ever gone, at least in the United States, where it's like, if you spit, I think if you spend enough time in a city and you fucking have any iota of motion or social skills, you can kind of figure it out. You know, like Seattle sucked, but like, I'm sure that there are neighborhoods there that I would like, you know, like, and I'm sure that there are like restaurants there I'd want to eat at. And I'm sure that there are fucking, you know, um, people I'd want to hang out with. Fair enough. You gotta, you gotta ask us questions we can actually riff on because I can't say any. You know, like, I can't go crazy with that Atlanta question. Like, come on, bro. You can, right. you can get one more. Right, I'll give, we'll, give, we'll do. We'll do one more question. We'll do one more question. This is this is a two part question. <laughs> go ahead, bro. All right, generic question first. If this was to end tomorrow, Luke's NYC, what would you do? Slash, what job would you say? Fuck it, I'm gonna work here. Till I retire and or die. Well, it's, it's hard to answer that because it's like, what financial state am I leaving the company with? You know, like that's the more important question, like to answer that. Like there, there has to be some sort of context. To the let's let's just say like the this absolute this actual second, like both the stores exploded. Oh shit! I'd be fucked. I'd try to, I'd probably try to fake my own death, and just like get a life insurance policy. Where are you? Where are you like moving afterwards? Where are you residing? Oh, like, Post faking your like, death. The Upper Peninsula of Michigan. Why? Th- why? Why there? Because you would never expect it. That is true. Actually, I wouldn't. I would never fucking go there. That's bizarre. A very bizarre place to go. I think you're not gonna go to like South America or something. Someplace warm. Do I look like a fucking Nazi to you? N- no. No. Well, I mean, there's, I a, to South there's a there's a lot of other places besides Argentina. Yeah, Uruguay. Brazil. <laughs> yeah, all right, dude. You could go to all right, Chile, Venez- Venezuela. This guy came in the store the other like a couple weeks, probably three months ago. Jesus. And he bought he, was, he bought a bunch of vintage tees. And I was like, oh, what's up? He had an accent. I was like, where are you from? He's like, I'm from Chile. I was like, that was Santiago. He's like, yeah. And I was like, you got a German last name? He's like, why are you asking me that? And I was like, <laughs> no reason. He got like he got like a bit defensive about it. I don't think he loved that. I don't think he loved what I was implying. <laughs> he and was he, like, bro, come on. Anytime I see a white person from South America, I kind of like. Usually try to throw like ask kind of like, like like what's your a Nazi s question? What's, what's, what's your last name? Schindler? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I think that's you're a, Italian, huh? When did your family move over? Thirties. Uh, oh uh, shit. Okay, that's weird. Huh? That's yeah. Yeah. Your dad, your dad was a bit of a disciplinarian. I think it would be their grandfather. You get what I'm saying? I do get what you're saying. I do get what you're saying. But if everything ended at Luke's, I would just. Keep fucking with computers, bro. Well, you yeah, you have like another job. Yeah, I would just continue to work on computers. I the I, computers be putin. They're gonna our fucking techno overlords. I just work with them. That's all I would do. I mean, I don't know. I'd probably just uh, he'd probably know. just start trapping again. I might just sell weed. I don't know. I like Fetty. You really think that you're built for that? Mm, yeah. Perhaps. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I gotta like pay my bills. That's true. Phil I'd is probably expensive. just sell shit on Grail, honestly. Like, <laughs> I'd probably do that exactly what the fuck I was doing to that as a door. You'd be like, damn. All right, back to biz. Maybe go work for Second Street. I don't know. Go work for Second Street. I don't like what 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 answer is there? Like I've I've only ever worked for myself really as an adult. So it's like, why would oh, I yeah, go I like get a why would I go true. get a job? What kind of dumbass shit is that? That's true. Maybe I'll start maybe I'll drop my mixtape finally. What's your rapper name? Luke. I could see you being like an underground sensation, honestly. I'm like the I'm like the white net spin. I would be so curious. What? White net spin is white. Come on, dude. What kind of white? I don't Where know. Where do you think his family's from? Is he from Argentina? <laughs> no, his family's from fucking his family's from, from Chesterfield. Yeah, from I know. Chesterfield. I know. We know people but who know. But maybe they know immigrated him. from Buenos Aires. Do you think so? After immigrating from Germany. Well, let's fucking ask. Let's let's get someone that actually knows. We should call him and ask him. Call Tom and ask him. I mean, he's not going to answer right now. I bet you would answer. You think so? I'm not going to do it, but I bet you he would. Yeah, fair he enough. He just texted me earlier. Oh, really? How's he? Well, I didn't ask him. <laughs> you didn't ask him how he's doing? <laughs> no, what the fuck? I'm not going to hold his hand. I'm uh, texting him. All right, dude. All right. Fine. Fine. You can spend your life wasting your life with formalities, but a guy like me is going to fucking get right to, right to the bag. Speaking of right to the bag, let's get to the next fucking question. Part two? <laughs> or <laughs> This is the part two. This is the part two question. TikTok ask question. <laughs> What's your body count? <laughs> Close. Would you rather TikTok viral son 
like that boom kid where you got to appear in all of those videos and shit or only fans daughter but she's balling out hardcore and paying off your mortgage love the pod all the way from winchester england google it some little ass town full of white aristocratic people Hard. shit's lame dom all right well couple couple ways to answer this first of all Big Big AJ is the one making the videos. He's not appearing in Big Justice is appearing in Big AJ's videos. Yeah. Big AJ is the foundation, so he has it mixed up. Yeah, you got the game fucked up, Twin. The answer, the obvious answer is OnlyFans daughters. They make way more money. And I was telling you this the other day when we spoke on this because Nate read me this question. Having an OnlyFans daughter implies that she's hot enough to make money doing OnlyFans, which is a reflection of my genes and my genetics and my ability to pull a bad bitch. So of course I would rather have that. Because that means I got a bad bitch pregnant. And we had a beautiful daughter, and she was bad enough to do OnlyFans. So that reflects more positively on me, and they make more money. I'm going the Rizzler, Rizzler kid all day. Doug, Doug, the OnlyFans, that just sounds like too much drama. I'm not dealing with that. The Rizzler kid, that's fucking easy. That's easy. We go get sandwiches. I film them and shit. You guys can talk. Whatever. You guys don't fucking say shit. I don't want to hear it. You, you can answer. Oh, uh, what? What the fuck? What? Have you seen... The behind the scenes of the Rizzler kid. Oh, it's dad. fucking dark. Have you Is seen it, that? Dark? Wait, wait, wait. Dark. From somebody who, dude. What that's do you mean? Bad from, from who? Were you huh? a TikTok kid? Did your parents make you film no, videos? No, but I knew people whose parents put like pressure on them star. It's for up. like ridiculous stuff. And that kid is not going to be the same. Like no, what he's Luke fu- said. He's, he's dude, I'm telling you, because that shit like reflects. Later on in life in weird yeah. ways. Yeah. It's bad. And what the OnlyFans thing is well, not going well, no, to? The OnlyFans thing is is like the manifestation of previous trauma. So really you're getting money off something that already happened that you, you exactly know, may or may not have meant to happen. I agree with you. It's also like OnlyFans is such a wide spectrum of things. Like we could see, be foot stuff. That's not that big of a deal. It could be like anything. Like bro, people will pay for whatever they, whatever fantasy they think. I'm they gonna, can I'm get. gonna keep. I, I, th- I think, and I, I don't mean this in any disrespectful way to you, but I think answering that you'd rather have the son do that is a very misogynistic answer. Oh. Oh, is it? Yeah. Is it? Sandwiches with my son, going back to one of your or your fucking fetishes, fucking feet or pee or something weird like that. And I'm the fucked up one. Uh, you guys will see it's three people in here snickering at me, pointing their fingers at me, saying that I'm It's sick. three people in here realizing that you hate women. I don't hate women. I'm just, that's just, that just seems like a lot. That just seems like a lot. I mean, no shade on anybody. I mean, no, that like, it, I wouldn't want to watch my, my daughter get piped down, but like, <laughs> I, I also. <laughs> I also would love a G63 from my progeny. Yeah, G63 will go fucking nuts. And it's like, if you have, like, like, obviously, if you have a beautiful child, like, someone's going to want to fuck on them at one point in their life or another. And why not monetize? I mean, there's a whole slew of reasons, but I'm a, I think we, I, th- it's fine. It's fine. That's what, what you want to do. That's what you want to do. What about, like, what about a, a, a dude OnlyFans and he'd just be cranking his shit on OnlyFans and like shooting hella rope and getting brand off bands off that. It's the same thing. The same thing. I feel like it's just I think solo is not that bad. It's not about what they're doing being bad. It just sounds like a lot of stuff and drama. As opposed to going into a Costco and filming. They just fucking eat, they, <laughs> Yes. <laughs> yeah, it just seems like the sandwiches. It's just sandwiches. Well, a chicken bake is not a sandwich. What the fuck ever? They're eating cookies. They're eating sandwiches. It's double fine. chunk chocolate cookie. Dunky, double chunk chocolate chip cookie. You got the Rizzler. He's riding his little bike around. It's not that It's not that. The, the Rizzler looks like he's going to have a fucking heart attack. <laughs> you say, you've already said this. <laughs> his BMI is through the fucking roof. How do you his think? His BMI looks like the NASDAQ. <laughs> Let's get down the brass sacks. How do we save the Rizzler? You, you, you got to get a time machine. He's already done, dude. That's the thing. He's like, he's going to be chasing this dragon of social media engagement dopamine for the rest of his life, and it's going to end up in Fetty. I don't, I don't feel like that's true. <laughs> <laughs> We'll circle back. He's a good. You. He's a good kid. He's gonna be fine, dude. Don't put that bad juju on the Rizzler, bro. As soon as as soon as the Rizzlers in the New York Post were beating the brakes off his wife, <laughs> I'm bringing him to fucking. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, man! <laughs> I don't want to think. I don't. I don't think about that. 
That's that's horrible. That's yeah. horrible. But have I you seen the old big the big AJ stuff where he was like he used to be a wrestler and he was like making the kids sing when they were like five? Like that that's what you don't realize is big AJ's been trying to get viral for like <laughs> he Joe Jackson. Yeah, dude. He Joe he's Jackson. Like, he's like a white Joe Jackson. Uh, now I'm mad, real mad. Joe Jackson, like that Kanye Carrie Hilson song I've been singing all day. Um, oh, that's a that's a that's a good song. That's that's that shit goes so crazy. Good, that shit is. That I is, know, dude. That is a banger. Absolute that's your banger. boyfriend right there. I'm gonna ask him. Uh huh. <laughs> that shit goes crazy. I know. I was watching the. You saw me post the shit from the video. I did. I, I feel like I saw someone actually was like talking about it like not that long ago. I think it brought. I think that's what brought it up. It was in the zeitgeist uh, right yeah, now because exactly. he was like, what he did like the he did like a 45 minute verse and they were like, we have to cut half of this out. There's well, also I think they were about to release the album and he pulled up to the studio like three days before and was like, I'm going on this song and he was like the biggest artist in the world. And Carrie Hilson's album was going to peak at 56, so they let him on. They're like, bet, whatever. Whatever, that's fine. She was the baddest one of all those singers. She's so fucking gorgeous. Was she in, like, a group before that? No. Nah. No, she was just, like, a solo? Yeah. Mm. All right. Yeah, she was so hot. Oh yeah, she's God. really gorgeous. She had big Oof. eyes. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. I, like, I like big eyes. It's Really? Yeah. So, was, are you, like, an eye guy, or...? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I do understand your alien fetish, Nate. <laughs> <laughs> like big old eyes. <laughs> Ooh, a gray alien. Like, oh, oh, she can throb up a little bit. <laughs> Any whomst. You get anywhere good to eat recently? I went to Superiority Burger last night. Nate was besmirching Superiority Burger. I'm not a fan it's of it. It's so fucking I'm not, good. I'm dude. not a fan of Superiority Burger. Dude, it's gross. Anything from Superiority Burger, from the sides to the damn gelato, is amazing. And you. Besmirching them just speaks to your level of I like, I like not how, understanding I like the how, vegan cuisine. I, I like no, how I like how you everyone everyone like has to just go so much further when I say I don't like something. Why can't I just not like? Well, shit? I think I think there's some context behind behind Nate not liking it. Is anytime he eats a vegetable, he writhes in his bed for six hours because yeah. his stomach can't handle it because uh, he can't even eat probiotics without getting fucking violently because ill. Because my fucking system is perfect. I don't need no, a it's pro so damage I don't by micro. Anything. Plastics and modellos that, <laughs> <laughs> that, that he can't even handle a reintroduction of the proper gut bio. First of all, first of all, probiotics are a fucking psyop. Why do you Cap. need? Why Cap. do you need probiotics for your system? Microplastics. It's not doing anything to get the microplastics out of your system, it's, dude. It's, yeah, but it's rebooting your shit. It's not fucking rebooting shit. That's a lie. I'm sure I'll fucking find something. Well, I'll talk about it on the next podcast. It's fucking bullshit. Just like kombucha's bullshit. It's all bullshit. It's there is no fucking way that it works at all. What, man? <laughs> your gut is mad permeable, and it shows, man. You you. You got leaky gut. Your shit, your shit's all fucked up. <laughs> you like you about to fucking. Kill. I'm about to fuck you up. You're talking too much. Stop. Stop. Just stop. Um, you yeah. just want to sit in the middle. Nate. Nate has a a a, a deeply damaged GI tract, and that's why he can't eat like superiority burger or like salads. That is actually true. This, I took fucking antibiotics when I was like a kid because I had salmonella and it's I've been fucked up ever since. That's probably true. That's why you need probiotics to fix this. And shit, every single dude. time I'm taking probiotics, it just fucks me up even more. You, you, gotta, you gotta power through it. It's like it's like when you get too scared from smoking pot every once in a while. You just you just go through. Well, the it's fear. like it stops happening after a while. It did never stop for me, but for no, most yeah, people, it, never, it never stopped for me either. <laughs> Why you do it, dude? <laughs> what do you mean? I haven't smoked in forever. Oh, really? I haven't smoked in like three or four months. Really? That's why I've been way more aggressive. Sorry, Mateen. You're not. You don't. You don't. You don't really have a killer instinct. I I cover it very well. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. You're like the. Uh, you're like Robert from the Shark Tank. Robert, who the fuck is that? <laughs> With the blue eyes, who they always dub his offers. Who the fuck is Robert? That's his name, right? Who are you, fucking I'm, Kevin? I'm Mark Cuban, baby. <laughs> You're Mark Cuban. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a social warrior. Oh, that's that's interesting. Or Lori. I don't know who any of these people are. Because yeah, you're not a shark. You're, uh, yeah, you're, you're a porpoise. A porpoise. A dolphin. I said that on porpoise. Oh. Yeah, let's wrap it up. All right. <laughs> Nasty Work Podcast, episode 10, our best work yet. Guests coming soon. Nasty Work Podcast on Instagram, Luke's NYC, Luke's Store. 
Um, Nate's new uh, burner Instagram name is Polycule Poppy, uh, which was my idea. And then <laughs> <laughs> his new Instagram name is Nate.gov. Did it you might, make it? It might be. It might be. That's pretty it's good. It's either Nate.gov. It's not Nate.io. We tried to get it. But he's going to make one of those Instagrams. He's sick of people not knowing him. He, I think someone called him by his Instagram name in casual conversation at a dinner it was or one at the your, bar. It was one of your fucking em- old employees was like, Tokyo Drift. And I was like, yeah, I it's hate cause, this. It's because he doesn't know your fucking name. I was like, That's I, so I, I, funny. Like, I don't know his name, but like, I it's, would just be like, what's up, man? There's many, many things that he could have <laughs> said. What's up, bro? How are you, dude? Whatever you say, Tokyo Drift. Yeah. Uh, don't like that. I'm going to start calling you Tokyo. Uh, I can't, I mean, we can, we can not get into it, but, you know, every time, like, a dude comes and, like, introduces himself with, like, a name that's obviously not his name, I'm always just like, I'm not going to call you that, yeah. you know, like. You what's, know, up? Like, I'm, what's up? I'm OG Luke Mook. Yeah, nice to like, meet no, you. But I'm like, yeah, like, yo, my name's, like, Tokyo, and I'm just like, hey, dude, like, I'm just going to call you dude. I'm yeah. not doing this with you. And then I'm, like, like getting their Zell, and I'm like, is, is Eugene right? And they're like, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's all our socials. That's all I got. I'll go into this in the detail at different times. It's been happening for years, but we'll, we're good right now. All right. Bye. Bye.